At the start of the movie, we are introduced to Su Xing Yu, an instrument tuner for a rock band. He dreams of performing like the band on a grand stage one day. On the other hand is his co-worker, Tian Chin, the band's assistant, who is often mistreated by the other band members. One day, seeing her being harassed by the band members, Xing Yu gets angry and decides to get back at them. While performing a concert, he removes the bolts on the band members' drums, causing chaos during the performance. After the incident, Xing Yu is fired from the job, but it isn't so bad for him because he got a chance to become closer to Tian Xin. Later that night, she asks him to have dinner together. During dinner, they share their dreams. Xing Yu and Tian Xin dream about becoming a famous singer-songwriter and artist manager, respectively. After they finish up, they stroll around town, and it's evident that the two are romantically interested in each other. As days pass by, they start dating and spending quality time together. However, after being unemployed, Xing Yu wants to further his studies, so he decides to go to England. There, he will work part-time as a dishwasher to fund his studies. He meets Tian Xin in a park and reveals his decision to her. The latter supports him, but is understandably sad. Xing Yu then gives her a red bracelet as a sign that they are still together, even though they will soon be far apart. Following this, he asks her for something in return to help him remember his girlfriend. Tian Xin thinks for a while and hands him her favorite pen, which Xing Yu happily accepts. Even though the two are already committed to each other, Tian Xin is worried that they will never see each other again. Xing Yu comforts her and promises they will meet again in the park. Five years have passed and Xing Yu is a popular music artist. He shoots music videos and commercials every day and has lots of fans. Molly, his co-worker, frequently teases him about his good looks. She often approaches him to date her, however, Xing Yu is never interested. One day, he gets into an argument with his manager, Mei. It's revealed that she wants to make him a superstar and has secured a film role for him. However, an angry Xing Yu says that he has no plans to enter the film industry. On the other hand, we see Tian Xin, who is headed to an artist management building. Coincidentally, she has a new job at the same company that manages Xing Yu's music videos. She even manages to meet him, but the meeting only reminds them of the bad memories from three years ago. Flashback to three years ago when Xing Yu was still working as a dishwasher in England, he and Tian Xin had an argument over the phone. He complained that he couldn't write songs anymore and didn't have enough money to live on, so he decides to quit his music studies and return back home. But instead of encouraging Xing Yu, Tian Xin broke up with him, reasoning that they were too far from each other and that their relationship had no future. She also felt that Xing Yu's future was unclear, while she was already a busy executive by then. At first, Xing Yu didn't believe that his girlfriend was breaking up with him until she gave him another reason, that she already had a new man. This broke the poor boy's heart so much that he couldn't stop crying for days. Back to the present, Tian Xin tries to initiate a conversation with Xing Yu, but as expected, he completely ignores her. After this, Tian Xin heads to her work, asking other employees where her desk is. However, all of them ignore her as they are busy caught up in a nearby commotion. It's revealed that the commotion has actually come out of the room where Xing Yu and his manager Mei have gotten into an argument once again. Xing Yu is still persistent on his decision to stick with his music and not get into the film industry, while Mei raises her voice, exclaiming that she is the reason why Xing Yu has been successful. During the argument, she challenges him to find a new manager who can tolerate him daily. Xing Yu looks around and everyone who is there immediately looks away, hoping not to be picked by him. Left with no choice, he ends up selecting Tian Xin as his new manager. After this, he takes her to a restaurant to talk. When asked why he chose her, Xing Yu simply says that he wants to torture her. Later that night, Tian Xin looks at the red bracelet given by Xing Yu five years ago. Suddenly, she gets a text from him, telling her to come to his apartment the following morning at 9 a.m. The following day, Tian Xin arrives at Xing Yu's apartment at the said time and is welcomed at the entrance by his maid. As she steps inside, she can't help but marvel at the sheer luxury of Xing Yu's living space, complete with a shelf full of his awards. Suddenly, Xing Yu appears beside her playing the piano. He then cordially invites her to explore the rest of his apartment, showcasing the various features that he's most proud of. He takes her on a tour of his magnificent fish pond, teeming with brilliant colored fish, before leading her to a tranquil swimming pool where she can unwind and relax. Tian Xin is obviously impressed, but she starts to wonder if Xing Yu only called her to show off. However, he vehemently denies it and says that the reason he invited her was to let her get to know him better, now that she has become his manager and agent. In response, Tian Xin laughs and comments that Xing Yu is still the same as before. The pair then chat for a while before heading to work. Over the next few days, Tian Xin is kept busy with her new role as Xing Yu's manager. One of her primary responsibilities is to shape and improve his public image. She works tirelessly to enhance his reputation by crafting a compelling narrative around his music and personality. Tian Xin also directs Xing Yu on how to conduct himself during interviews, teaching him how to respond appropriately to questions and presenting him in the best possible light. Additionally, she accompanies him during photo and music video shoots, ensuring that everything runs smoothly. 
One day during a contract signing with a famous recording studio, Xing Yu suddenly realizes he has misplaced his pen. Panic sets in as he frantically searches for it. A colleague offers him a spare pen, but Xing Yu declines it, clearly uneasy about using a pen that is not his own. In a state of anxiety, he reaches out to Tian Xin for help, and she quickly ushers him backstage to avoid the prying eyes of the reporters. There, Tian Xin can't help but vent her frustration at Xing Yu. She's annoyed by his reluctance to sign the contract with a different pen, as she believes all pens are the same. However, Xing Yu remains stubborn, still refusing to sign the contract without his own pen. As they argue, another colleague arrives and presents Xing Yu with his lost pen. To Tian Xin's surprise, it's the same one she had given him five years earlier. She is shocked that he still has it and continues to use it. Later that night, the two reminisce about the memories they made together years ago. The next day, Tian Xin is eating alone at a restaurant when someone unexpectedly greets her. She is surprised when she realizes that the person is none other than her old acquaintance, Chen. The two chat for a while, and Chen asks her if she is still in love with Xing Yu. Tian Xin changes the subject immediately, as she doesn't feel comfortable talking about her feelings. Meanwhile, Xing Yu's former manager Mei is summoned to a meeting with her boss. The latter expresses his admiration for the way that Tian Xin has been able to take over as Xing Yu's agent and manager. However, Mei refuses to give her any credit, insisting that she was the one who shaped Xing Yu's career, and that Tian Xin is simply continuing her work. Mei then drops a bombshell by revealing that she has discovered a new artist by the name of Gamong, who she plans to promote and market as a direct competitor to Xing Yu. That afternoon, the boss holds a meeting with Mei, Gamong, Tian Xin, and Xing Yu. He then introduces the new artist to the attendees. After that, Mei mentions that a legendary producer named Song has returned, and he is currently looking for a new artist to partner with on his album. Mei then confidently reveals that she has already signed Gamong to work with the producer. Even though Xing Yu remains silent during the whole meeting, deep down, he also wants to work with the producer to boost his music career. Following the meeting, Tian Xin immediately dials producer Sung's number to convince him to consider Xing Yu for the partnership. However, he doesn't answer her call. As the days pass, the media starts to report Gamong as the new rising artist, due to which Xing Yu feels threatened. Tian Xin tells him to write a new song, but since he is too distracted by the newcomer, he fails. Later, she takes him to a local bar, hoping to find inspiration. There, Xing Yu is just another patron among the crowd, and the atmosphere is laid back with live music playing. They join other patrons and enjoy the music by dancing and singing along. Shortly after, the band performing on the stage ends their show and calls for some crowd participation. Tian Xin unexpectedly raises Xing Yu's hand and forces him to play a song. After a bit of hesitation, he walks up to the stage and starts playing the piano. Surprisingly, the producer Sung is also present at the bar, and he is greatly impressed by Xing Yu's performance. The following night, Tian Xin joins her friends to celebrate a birthday. She gets so drunk that she sends Xing Yu a message confessing that she still loves him. The next day, he confronts her about the message, but they don't have time to discuss it further, as he is scheduled to shoot his new music video. The video involves him filming in a hot air balloon. For some reason, Tian Xin has a bad feeling about the balloon. Her intuition is eventually proven right when the rope suddenly unties, causing them to get stuck in the balloon for hours. When they finally land in a field, Tian Xin explains to Xing Yu why she dumped him. At the time, all his money was being spent on long-distance phone calls, and as a result, he couldn't save enough money to pay for his tuition. Tian Xin couldn't see him suffer like this, so she broke up with him. Hearing all this, an emotional Xing Yu asks if they can rekindle their relationship. Tian Xin thinks for a while and says yes. Sometime later, Xing Yu and Tian Xin are thriving as artist and manager. One day, the couple goes on a special date at a luxurious hotel, and they decide to get intimate. Unfortunately, a paparazzi catches them in the act and takes a picture. When Mei finds out about this, she approaches Tian Xin and angrily berates her. Sadly, Tian Xin is deeply affected by the humiliation and resigns from her job. Xing Yu searches for her at her apartment, but only finds an old bracelet he had gifted her years ago and a painting of the both of them stargazing. Months later, after the release of Xing Yu's album, Missing You, which is dedicated to Tian Xin, he is nominated for an award. In the next scene, we see Tian Xin secretly attending the award ceremony and watching him from afar. To her surprise, Xing Yu gives a speech and talks about her. He says that he doesn't know where she is or why she left him again, but he hopes that she will return. At the end of his speech, Xing Yu announces a place to meet up with him, saying that he'll be there waiting for her. After that, he runs off to the place, and a sobbing Tian Xin follows him. It turns out that the place is the same old spot in the park where they often met. The final scene of the movie shows Xing Yu and Tian Xin reuniting as they happily kiss each other.